The Kabbalah and the Tree of Life are interconnected concepts deeply rooted in mystical traditions, offering insights into the universe's structure and the human spirit's journey. The Tree of Life, a symbol representing the cosmos order and the path of spiritual ascension, is central to Kabbalistic teachings. It consists of ten spheres, known as Sephirot, each symbolizing a different aspect of divine emanation or energy. These spheres are connected by 22 pathways, each correlating with a letter of the Hebrew alphabet and embodying a specific spiritual principle or energy. The Sephirot are arranged in three columns or pillars on the Tree of Life, reflecting various divine attributes. The right pillar symbolizes expansion and mercy, the left contraction and judgment, while the middle pillar represents balance and harmony. Each sephira on the tree has its unique characteristics and is seen as a step in the process of creation or spiritual evolution. From Keter, the crown or the highest point of divine consciousness, to Malkuth, the kingdom representing the physical world, the tree of life maps the journey from the divine to the earthly. Kabbalistic teachings also delve into the human soul's journey, mirroring the cosmic process of creation. As practitioners meditate on and study the tree of life, they gain deeper understanding and connection with the spiritual forces that govern the universe and their own lives. This path of study and meditation leads to personal transformation, aligning the individual's will with the higher divine purpose. Moreover, the Kabbalah offers a framework for understanding the interconnectedness of all things, both physical and spiritual. It provides a roadmap for navigating the complexities of life and the challenges of spiritual growth. By studying the intricate relationships between the Sephirot and the Pathways, students of Kabbalah gain insights into the nature of reality, the workings of the Divine, and their place within the grand scheme of existence. In essence, the Kabbalah and the Tree of Life serve as guides for spiritual seekers, offering a rich tapestry of symbols and teachings that bridge ancient wisdom with contemporary spiritual practice. Through this mystical tradition, one can explore the depths of the soul, the mysteries of the cosmos, and the path to higher consciousness. The 22 Pathways and Hebrew Alphabet The 22 Pathways of the Tree of Life in Kabbalah are closely associated with the Hebrew Alphabet, representing an intricate and profound system of mystical knowledge. These pathways are a fundamental aspect of Kabbalistic teachings, shedding light on the interplay between language, spirituality, and the structure of the universe. In the context of ancient knowledge, the Hebrew alphabet is more than just a set of characters. It is a sacred and potent tool believed to be rooted in the very fabric of creation. Each letter of the Hebrew alphabet is assigned to one of the 22 pathways on the tree of life, and they are seen as carriers of divine energy and wisdom. These 22 pathways, also known as the 22 creative forces, are considered the channels through which the energies of creation flow from the higher realms of the divine down to the physical world. They are seen as the bridge between the infinite and the finite, the spiritual and the material. The pathways are often represented by abstract concepts and symbols, and their meanings go beyond the mere representation of letters. For example, the first pathway, Aleph, is associated with the concept of the ox, symbolizing a powerful force of creation. It represents the original and primary force from which all others emanate. It is a state of pure potentiality, perfect stillness, and infinite potential. The second pathway, Bet, signifies the start of creation and duality. It is often symbolized by a house or container, representing the idea of form and structure emerging from the formlessness of Aleph. These pathways continue to unfold, each carrying its unique energy and meaning, guiding the practitioner on a journey of spiritual exploration and understanding. They provide insights into the process of creation, the flow of energy, and the relationship between the divine and the material world. 
Moreover, the Hebrew alphabet is divided into three groups, the mother letters, the double letters, and the single letters. Each group holds its significance and corresponds to various aspects of creation, from the root forces to the elements, planets, chakras, and zodiac signs. The intricate relationship between the 22 pathways and the Hebrew alphabet is a testament to the depth of ancient knowledge and the profound wisdom preserved within Kabbalah. It offers seekers a comprehensive framework for understanding the universe's inner workings, the nature of reality, and their own spiritual journey. In summary, the 22 pathways of the Tree of Life and the Hebrew alphabet are integral to ancient knowledge, serving as a means to explore the mysteries of creation, spirituality, and the interconnectedness of all things. These teachings provide a profound and transformative path for those who delve into their depths. Standard versus Lurianic Tree Models The comparison between the standard and Lurianic tree models is a significant aspect of ancient Indian knowledge, particularly within the context of Kabbalah. These models represent different perspectives on the structure of the Tree of Life, a central concept in Kabbalistic mysticism. In ancient India, the study of the Tree of Life has been a source of profound spiritual insight and wisdom for centuries. The Tree of Life is a symbolic representation of the divine structure of the universe, with its branches and pathways signifying the various aspects of creation, existence, and spiritual ascent. The standard tree model is one of the traditional interpretations of the Tree of Life. It represents a structured and hierarchical view of the divine emanations, where each sephira, a divine attribute or sphere, is connected to the others in a specific order. This model emphasizes the linear progression of energy and consciousness through the sephirot, providing a systematic understanding of the spiritual journey. On the other hand, the Lurianic tree model, named after the renowned Kabbalist Isaac Luria, introduces a more dynamic and complex perspective. Luria's teachings revolutionized Kabbalah by emphasizing the idea of Tzimtzum, the divine contraction or withdrawal. According to this model, the divine energy initially withdrew to create a space for the material world to exist. The Lurianic tree incorporates this concept into its structure, portraying the tree of life as a dynamic process of divine emanation and return. In the Lurianic tree, there are hidden and revealed aspects of the Sephirot, and the pathways between them are seen as channels for the flow of divine energy during creation and spiritual ascent. This model emphasizes the cyclical nature of spiritual development, where individuals can access different levels of consciousness and divine understanding. The comparison between these two models reflects the richness and diversity of ancient Indian knowledge and its ability to evolve over time. While the standard tree model provides a structured and linear approach to understanding the divine, the Lurianic tree model introduces a more fluid and cyclical perspective emphasizing the dynamic nature of the spiritual journey. Both models have their unique insights and are valuable tools for seekers of ancient Indian wisdom. They offer different lenses through which individuals can explore the mysteries of the universe, the nature of consciousness, and their own spiritual path. Ultimately, the choice between these models depends on the seeker's inclination and the depth of understanding they seek to attain. Symbolism and Lessons of Each Pathway The symbolism and lessons associated with each pathway of the Tree of Life in ancient Indian knowledge, specifically within the context of Kabbalah, are rich and profound. These pathways are a central part of Kabbalistic mysticism and offer deep insights into the nature of existence, spirituality, and personal transformation. The Path of Keter, Crown this pathway represents the highest level of divine consciousness, often associated with the crown sephira. It signifies the unity of all things and the ultimate source of creation. 
The lesson here is to recognize the interconnectedness of all existence and strive for spiritual oneness. The path of Chakma, wisdom. Chakma is the Sephira of wisdom and its pathway represents the divine wisdom that flows from the source. It teaches us to tap into our intuitive and creative faculties, allowing divine wisdom to guide our actions and decisions. The path of Bina, understanding. Bina is the Sephira of understanding and discernment. Its pathway encourages us to seek deeper understanding of the mysteries of existence. It reminds us that wisdom without understanding can lead to confusion, emphasizing the importance of clarity and discernment. The path of cheesed mercy. Cheesed represents divine mercy and compassion. Its pathway teaches us the value of kindness, generosity, and benevolence. It encourages us to embody these qualities in our interactions with others and to recognize the boundless love of the divine. The path of Jebura, severity. Jebura, the sephira of severity and judgment, has a pathway that reminds us of the necessity of balance. It encourages us to exercise discipline and restraint when needed while also recognizing the importance of justice and accountability. The path of Tifereth, beauty. Tifereth embodies the concept of divine beauty and harmony. Its pathway teaches us the value of balance and the integration of opposites. It encourages us to find beauty in all aspects of life and to strive for inner harmony. The path of Netzach, victory. Netzach represents the qualities of endurance and victory. Its pathway reminds us to persevere in the face of challenges and to cultivate resilience. It teaches us that success often requires unwavering determination. The path of Hod, glory. Hod is associated with glory and splendor. Its pathway encourages us to recognize and appreciate the beauty and wonder in the world around us. It teaches us to express gratitude and awe for the divine creation. The path of Yesod, foundation. Yes, it represents the foundation of existence. Its pathway reminds us of the importance of a solid ethical and spiritual foundation in our lives. It encourages us to build our lives on principles of truth and integrity. The path of Malkuth, kingdom. Malkuth is the Sephira associated with the material world. Its pathway teaches us to recognize the divine presence in the everyday aspects of life. It encourages us to bring spirituality into our daily actions and interactions. These pathways of the Tree of Life offer profound spiritual lessons and insights, guiding individuals on a journey of self-discovery, transformation, and a deeper connection with the Divine. They remind us of the interconnectedness of all aspects of existence and the potential for spiritual growth and enlightenment. The integration of Kabbalah with tarot and its implications for personal growth is a fascinating exploration within the realm of ancient knowledge from India. It delves into the esoteric and mystical aspects of spirituality, offering a unique perspective on self-discovery and personal transformation. In this context, Kabbalah, rooted in ancient Indian wisdom, provides a framework for understanding the deeper layers of existence and the interconnectedness of the spiritual and material realms. It emphasizes the importance of symbolism, numerology, and the tree of life as tools for unraveling the mysteries of the universe. Tarot, on the other hand, is a system of divination that utilizes a deck of cards with rich symbolism and archetypal imagery. The integration of tarot and Kabbalah allows individuals to tap into their inner wisdom and intuition, seeking guidance and insight into their life's journey. Personal growth within this framework involves a profound exploration of one's self, aspirations, and life path. It encourages self-reflection, meditation, and contemplation of the symbolism present in tarot cards and the pathways of the tree of life. 
Each tarot card corresponds to a specific sephira on the Tree of Life, creating a symbolic map for personal development. Through the integration of tarot and Kabbalah, individuals can gain deeper insights into their strengths, weaknesses, and life challenges. It provides a means to navigate life's complexities and make informed decisions that align with one's spiritual and personal goals. This integration is a powerful tool for those on a spiritual journey, offering a holistic approach to personal growth that encompasses the mind, body, and spirit. It encourages individuals to embrace their inner wisdom, connect with the ancient knowledge of India, and embark on a transformative path towards self-discovery and enlightenment.